Hey guys, Mitch here. Today Apple released the fifth beta of iOS 7, bringing a number of improvements, changes, and bug fixes to the new operating system. Now iOS 7 Beta 5 also offers a slew of minor interface tweaks and improvements that continue to make iOS 7 faster. So let's go ahead here and take a look. The icons in the setting menu have seen a completely new design, going from the standard blue icons to a variety of square icons in various colors, ranging from orange, blue, gray, all the way down to red, that just kind of spice up the settings a little bit. Now within the control center, the control center settings now allow the function to be turned off while in applications. Now this prevents it from being accessed from the bottom while you are playing different applications that require using your fingers to swipe up and down so you don't get those two mixed up. For the power off features, the slider bar that displays when the iPhone is being powered off has been slightly altered. You now have a red ribbon that does say slide to power off and at the bottom you do have a blue cancel button. Now the Twitter icon has also been redesigned, so rather than having a white bird on a blue background, it now depicts a blue bird on a white background. Banner notifications can now be pulled down to access additional information from the notification center rather than just the individual notification. So once it does come in, you can easily pull down to have access to other notifications directly from the notification center. While on the phone or using the FaceTime application, the icons that are displayed while user is having a phone call are slightly altered with the addition of circles around the icons and they appear to be larger than the beta 4 icons. In the messages app, it no longer says the first initial for the user's last name like in beta 4. To download and install iOS 7 Beta 5 onto your device, there are two ways. The first way is on the device by going into Settings, General, and then Software Update where you can update over the air on the actual device. Or the second way is by heading over to my website, which I will provide the iOS 7 Beta 5 links where you can download directly and then update your device within iTunes. So guys, I hope you enjoyed the iOS 7 Beta 5 features and overview. Additional features, if they are found, make sure you leave them down in the description below, and Apple will continue to push out regular updates for iOS 7 up until the final that does come out in the fall. Anyways guys, thanks for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.